I was looking at the ages and the experience of your teammates. You, if you this will be your third Le Mans? Third? This being your third Le Mans, you'll have more experience than five of your teammates. How does it feel to be a team leader at 23? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a team leader. I think Ollie's got more experience than me in car 23, but um, you know, with the experience again last year and the year before in LMP2, um, you know, it helps a lot. It's just knowing the circuit. You know, you know, I know Le Mans better than any other circuit I've ever been to because you do so many laps here in practice and in the race. But um, yeah, I hope more about the team has never been here before, so you know all the driver knowledge um, from past experiences is helpful to them as well with the car. So um, yeah, we're all learning as a team together. Obviously, we didn't get to see everything the Nissans could do during the test day, but at least of the time you did, get, everyone got in the car. Are there any strengths that stand out? Things you think that they'll do that are that could be fairly impressive? I think our top end speed is pretty decent. Um, we were probably the fastest car in the speed traps. Um, in the test day, we didn't get many laps out and in the dry. We didn't mean our run in the, in the wet. But um, I think our minimum speed in the real slow corners is uh, fairly decent, I think. Corners are carnage. Um, so, yeah, we'll soon see where we are. I think there's going to be a, a big step from the Le Mans test day to, say, pra to practice and quality. Um, not only because of the drivers in the car getting more experience, but also in, in setup. We did uh, the Bugatti circuit test day with some other cars, and we learned quite a few things there, which were quite valuable to us. Um, so, yeah, we'll soon see where we are um, compared to everybody else. And we've definitely made an improvement. we we'll just see how much of an improvement we've made come, I think, it's Wednesday or Thursday. So, Wednesday. So, uh, looking forward to that. Of your teammates that are here for the first time, or maybe those that uh, sports car fans maybe don't know so well, tell me about uh, any of them where you think they might actually uh, really be impressive to watch once we get into the race. I think, um, well, on car 23, so my teammate Max, Max Shilton, obviously, we a F1 driver for many years, and you know, he's finished every single F1 race, and uh, it's one of the main reasons why he's on the team. You know, it's consistency and it's not damaging the car. So, um, but also, I could just talk for Max because he's on my he's on my team. But um, his feedback, he gets, he thinks about different things which no other driver I thought has uh, has commented on before. So, and then Alex Buncombe um, on Car 22, uh, first time here at Le Mans, but many years in GT3 racing and GT racing, and uh, very quick in a, in a sport in a prototype car now. And his racecraft is. Uh, He's incredible, you know, he's watched his Monza, I think 2014 run at, uh, in GT3 at Blancpain, overtaking so many cars from the back of the grid, you know, this is crazy. So, you know, we've got a lot of drivers that have come from different directions that uh, bring a lot to the table. And um, yeah, all of us, you know, we work together pretty well. We all seem pretty happy together. And um, we all recognize it's a team as well. And we need this, we need this team effort because it is such a new car. There are so many things we have to learn as a team together. So uh, it helps that we all get along, and we do. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the whole Le Mans event, really, because it's, it's enjoyable. Last question for you. We've really seen the strength of the racing community the last couple of months, folks supporting you. You had a challenging time not so long ago. How are you doing spirit-wise and feeling-wise coming into this event? You know, I feel good. I, um, I went home after the Le Mans test day. Um, to, uh, to prepare else for another race but you know you get time to sort of recharge and come back and some guys stayed out and team building with the team and uh, everyone especially the team because they've had many hours late nights and after the test day things tapered off for them they're going to actually back to the hotel at six o'clock not midnight so um, they're in much more higher spirits and uh, we as drivers as well it's, we're, we have a role in keeping the morale up, morale up. And uh, certainly, it, it's what it's what we need. And uh, certainly, going into the the actual race weekend, everybody's much much more chirpier. We understand where we are, and um, yeah, I think everybody's a lot happier um, because they're not working so crazy hours. Um, come race day, that'll probably change. <laughs> but um, yeah, I see our morale is pretty high. You know, it's we understand where we are, and we're looking forward to the race, and we're going to do the best that we can. And um, yeah, that counts for everyone and all the drivers too.